Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I'm here with my granddaughter, Raya. Say hi, Raya. Say hello. Hey, baby. <laughs> um, this is April's Afterlife Encounters. Um, today's adventure took us to a amazing place yes. deep in the woods. Yeah. And a quiet little almost abandoned town but my intro got messed up so I'm having to do it at home and Raya my baby girl is helping me out with that so let's get started with with this video and hope you enjoy remember to like hit the notification and sub subscribe if you haven't already and if you see anything or hear anything in the video comment below Let's get with it. All right, guys, this is an old Confederate monument, cemetery. Um, the graves, I don't know if you can see it, but they date back to 1799, 1797. And this one here says, Least we forget this stone erected by a kinsman in memory of Joseph Hill, Company K, 53rd, Georgia, Uh, I don't know what that what that is, but um, a Quitman's guard killed in battle, and his brother Benjamin Handy Hill, who died at Bowling Green, Kentucky, both lie in unknown graves. We are on the dirt road headed to, what's it called? Potts? We're on Potts Pond Road. Potts Pond Road. Um, I've never been out here before, but my husband has, and he said that I'm in for a big surprise. I can't wait to get down there. I didn't go in inside the gate of that monument. Turn it more this way because um, there were posted signs. So um, I just took the pictures and made that little video clip. But, See it? Big pond. Oh, that is pretty. Can you zoom it? Where's the zoom? Zoom is right there. This one. Yeah. Where? Button right here? No, the front. Oh. Here we go. Let me see if you I can. Fly, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right here, at the driveway. We need to stop. Cause I'm gonna show them this pond. There is a beautiful, beautiful pond, or more like a lake, because it right spreads out way, um, it's at least 25 acres worth of lake. Are you okay? You okay? Come on, baby, let's get away from you. You alright? 
<laughs> Folks, when you do stuff like trespassing on folks' property, karma will instantly get you like it just did me. Because I just tripped and fell. Oh my gosh, we gotta get down there. I wonder, you guys can see there's like rocks that line this whole spot. And my husband said I haven't seen anything yet, so I don't know. And this is quite a little hike. This place is absolutely beautiful. That was not something that I even expected. Um, there's no words to even express how beautiful that is. I had planned on doing a necrophonic session and running the K2 meter, but once I saw this, I forgot all about that. It's just beautiful. Okay guys, we are in Yatesville, Georgia, and we ran across this old tra train depot, like the ticket office for trains. At some point it was probably a telegraph because it says that on the on the window, but this, this is a whole little, uh, I don't know, I don't see anything that says posted. It is so cute. Let's see what we see up here. Oh, wow. It goes all the way around. Thank you. Oh wow guys, I don't know, you probably can't see, but this is way like a museum, antique. There's an organ, um, little miniature houses. Man, look at the smoke that's from it. Working in little houses. Right? right? I'm gonna go around here and see if I can't see in the window.
This place is super, super cool. Oh, wow. Yeah, it used to be a telegraph. Wow, look at that nice thing right there, bro. Damn thing with the wine glass. I saw that. Nice. Yeah. They should restore this, like, and actually make it a museum. I mean, I'm sure, seeing as how there's a bunch of different buildings that are... Oh, uh, there's an outhouse over here, guys. You know, as, um, I hope that um, I'm not trespassing well this is so creepy and cool but this is the outhouse I'm not sure exactly how how um long or how long this area town has been here when this town was established but there's an old guy over here so I'm gonna go see if he knows anything if he allows me to film. Go ahead. Um, My name is John Hicks. I live here in Gatesville. And I uh, have a cross factory called the Cross Ministry Factory where we make crosses and give them out free. And you never want to go into the, in the yard. Gatesville's a small community. And we're down to one antique store, uh, Dollar General, and this cross ministry here. And, uh, but the town is close. It's a caring little community. It goes way on back to uh, A, I think it was A.D. Yates, who uh, came here and started a business, and uh, was later in one of his business shot dead, and uh, but it was named after him, and he came down to be known as Yatesville. And they had a packing shed, a peach packing shed, it was real grandeur, and three railroads, and uh, three banks, and a large post office, and many, many stores, and then as time went on, it just kind of meandered out and everything moved over to Thomaston, Georgia. So Yatesville All right. left over here just to kind of go downhill. But it's an old community and uh, all these boarded up stores and all are still good inside. People keep them up. Just like I do this one. This started out as a grocery store. Can Can you tell me when um, Yatesville was actually founded? What year? Oh gosh, it's uh, it was back in the early 1800s, uh, late 1800s. Okay. And uh, by A.D. Yates. And uh, then, uh, let's see, uh, I got here in 64, so uh, ask me, so we've got our own volunteer fire department. We've done that on our own. Right. Uh, and uh, usually I'm not lost for words. I've got to do the mouth. Do, do they still do the um, Chitlin Festival here? We still here? do the Chitlin Hoedown every year. Right. And uh, that's one of the things that brought a lot of people together mm -hmm. down here. And that's when we still had grocery stores open. Right. But now that's the only festival we got. We're going to have it this year. After okay. the pandemic, we didn't have it because of it. Right. And now that things are open, we're going to have it this year. Okay. It'll be the last part of uh, October. Okay. Um, this used to be the train depot. The train or... depot, right. It serviced the Southern Railway. And in 67, it was a working railway, mm -hmm. and it uh, brought freight into here. And we used to sit in the house that we built here on the other side of it and watch, watch it actively uh, in, in the workings. Since then, uh, another local citizen has purchased it, mm -hmm. fixed it up inside for weddings or whatever everybody wants to rent it for, right. and uh, kept the inside looking good. Um, I peeked in the window some, and there's... I mean, it looks like it could be just a museum. It, it's it's really nice inside. It, it is. It's got they've got some things in there that right. uh, make you walk back to history. You know, right. When you're in it, you've got the front part to look at, the restrooms, and a, a large opening in there. Right. Uh, where they could have the receptions and the even right. the weddings over there. Right. Right. 
Well, I appreciate that. It's not much, but uh, 